1999, Comic Relief founded a new project initiated by Child to Child. This project was the Impika Inclusive Education Project, or MIEP, based in Impika District, Northern Zambia. The program was based around child to child learning techniques, and its aim was to increase the numbers of children perceived as disabled entering regular schooling. Inclusive education is all about getting the disabled children or those children with the special educational needs into the regular classroom. Our emphasis on uh, when we began in this was to ensure that every child participated in all the activities. If the child is able to participate in a classroom, then it means that child has been included. Since we started working on uh, inclusive education, we've been uh, trying out a number of ideas to include all children in, the, in our learning process here. That's something that has been new. We've been able to think further on how to teach very, very well and to ensure that each child actually participates and achieve in, in class. When you look at the disabled, the disabled are very good at, at practical lessons. Lessons like music and dance, lessons like creative activity. This is where you may be able to see their ability because there they participate fully. Be it an English lesson, be it a, a, a mathematics lesson, you see, it's much important that we include, we, we try to bring these practical lessons in these subjects. Maybe the child may not be able to compute figures because of the, the disability that he or she has. But at least in that mathematics lesson, if we can bring any other creative activity within that math lesson, by the end of the day, the child will have participated fully. My name is Mata Chan. It's a woman of mathematics, English. Oh, I usually ask the children, uh, I ask them maybe questions like, uh, how, how do you feel right now? Do you think we can remove them out of the class? They say, no, we need them. In fact, we have seen a lot of changes, actually. We feel they should be with us. And they even go out to visit them and to play with them in their own community where they're coming from. So I feel that's an excitement. They, they, when they're here in the class, you could see them, each one moving up and down to try and help them, actually. Uh, they are coming up with, a, in fact, they are coming up with a number of exercises which I, I do not think of. They'll say, what if you try this? I just want you to tell me some of the things which you have done in order to achieve the stars which are on the chart. So, can you say something, Daniel Benjamin, what have you done? I teach my friend how to write numbers because if they are writing very fast, they will forget. Hey, Natasha. I help kids in maths. In maths? I help my friend to underline answers. To underline answers. I prepared work for Makuta. You also prepare work for Makuta. Don't you find it a very big job? It, it will, you will be slow if you help your friends. You are with them almost all the time, so you need to tell me some of the things which I, I think I don't know about how they are. What advice can you give me as a teacher? Children are coming in more to help, to work together actually. They are participating in the process. Maybe in class if they are found in a problem, I got to help them. We have to help them to show them what to do so that they can feel very happy of us. At break time, we sit with the disabled children, talk to them. Well, we make them feel better, as if they are loved. My name is Marianne Miyavala Mauluka. I'm a primary trained teacher. I'm teaching the grade threes. When this program was introduced in our area, we were first fully sensitized about how we're supposed to include these disabled people. My class is composed of 60 pupils. Among those, I've got an albino. 
who is Anton Tari. A day before Anton was brought to my class, I was fully sensitized to say an albino is a normal person like any other child in class. According to my traditions again and my beliefs, it was not easy for me to accept him because they say he brings bad luck to the community and to the family members. They don't socialize fully like any other child does. They just put them under lock and key. According to our traditions, we still believe that they are outcasts. They emphasize that every time you see an albino, you should spit saliva on your chest. <laughs> I talked to the pupils about the coming of Anton. They said they were ready to accept him. But it was a different thing when Anton came the following day. They all ran away. So instead of continuing with my lessons, I decided to go for a, a PE lesson. We interacted, we went back to class, at least there was a sort of some freedom in the pupils. Following day he came, he was the center of attraction in school. Everyone was puzzled to see Anton in the midst of these other normal pupils. But he's not moving at the same pace with them. So I decided to use twinning as a method of teaching to make Anton be with a faster learner in class who makes sure that Anton writes or does the everything that I assign to him. Nevo Anton Nandi Twanga Nankwen David Chand. If if young girl of Twanda na Anton Tlatia Bola Tatana can cruel. Oh Nando Fanja Fakum Skurunifi Samsi Chivemba Sungu Children with disabilities, such as Boya, are often twinned with other pupils to help support them in school life. My name is Ntari Kasundi. My name is Friday Sinkorongo. My name is Varatium. Warrior's leg is not well. When he falls, we hold him. Sometimes Warrior sleeps. We have to get a cloth and put it over him. It takes five minutes and it gets better again. After the school, we take Waria to his home. This one is just a okay, sweet potato. Sweet potato. Do you, uh, do you eat this one? We have a good number of uh, pupils in this school who know sign language. When MEMPO was introduced, um, people started understanding these disabilities. Uh, they learn sign language when they interact, or sometimes when they take a lesson together. For example, agricultural science, when they are in the garden, they are there interacting to one another. So eventually, they are able to at least get basics in sign language. The three quarters of the teachers now, uh, they know basics in sign language and uh, they are able to supervise these children, especially on co-curricular activities, very well. My name is Astrida Karengo. I am 19 years old and I am a head girl of this school at Msakanya Basic School. All the children of the school, they accepted the disabled children. They are playing together, even football, even netball. I like this way of learning. These disabled, past the time they are not free to educate, but now they are educating. Never Joseph Simcock. Nari 
Pantu kujaka sama kujempia shakuita shadi de pisha so pano de chawa mako pepe. Pantu pempi na pangani. Lo plaz pari bana mafunda lo bala funda. The project has helped the community to come together. The bond is strengthened. Everyone feels included. The teachers, the parents of the disabled, headmen, churches, they are now able to work together. Most of the people, they have now come closer to those people with disabilities because previously they used to think like their people can't contribute to the society. The teachers, the children, as well as the community are able to share things together. And then the children, when they are in the school here, I, I see them as one now, which, is, uh, which brings a lot of happiness to a lot of us. We believe there may be some more children in the community, but the challenge has been how to reach those children and bring them here, how to challenge the parents to bring those children into the school. It is something that we, we really have to work on because some of the parents have not actually maybe realized that it's something that we are, you are doing here. We have seen some parents in communities uh, that is in feedback who may have been maybe locking up uh, some of these children in their homes, in their houses, when they went to the fields. But eventually, after a bit of talking to, to them, uh, they have come out of this and they have brought the children over to the, to the schools. The other pupils in schools, uh, they are waiting and they don't find a problem. Uh, probably there's the, the innocence in them which we, we should capitalize on. I think they are, they are very accommodating and very helpful actually to, to their friends. They are very helpful. One of the most uh, continuous challenges that we have to, um, to work with and to try to, to sensitize especially the communities about uh, is this problem of, of stigma. Uh, most of our people uh, in the communities that we, um, we reach to um, still have the notion uh, that someone who is uh, disabled, you know, different abled, um, may not be of uh, much help uh, in society and they don't want to, to, to waste resources. Now I think they have just tested of how it is uh, they have just come to understand who a disabled is. So this is when they have just started actually knowing that actually these people, they can still do something in the society. They are part and parcel of the society. Whatever work that is at the community, they can do it just like any other human being. The project has been a great success. The number of children who are disabled, who are now attending school in the mainstream, the number has increased quite tremendously. When we began in 1999, we didn't know where we were going, but we were learning from our own experiences. And it's wonderful to see the results that we've achieved up to this point. There has been some challenges, but these challenges have been learning experiences. The project work isn't finished, and it will never finish. People's expectations are quite high. Schools and communities are just beginning to own the project. Changing attitude and behavior takes a long time. We empower them uh, in a way of affirming you know, who they are and that they're able to do a, a lot more than maybe just sitting at home, uh, being looked at and uh, being left like that. They are, they are the same as us, they were born like us. It's just that when they were grow, growing, they just have a mistake. The love that we express to them makes a big difference. It is one of the great successes that has ever happened in our area because there was that barrier. So it is like we're removing that barrier. We've accepted these pupils to be in our school. Season 2